Hello, this is Jeff Volker with In-Depth Studies. Today we're looking at Genesis chapter 15, verses 17 to 19. And of course, Genesis 15 is the chapter dealing with the Abrahamic covenant. Well, here, after God promises to give Abraham an heir and then many descendants through that heir, and then to take them into the land, he, said, he does this. Verse 17, when the sun had set and darkness had fallen, a smoking fire pot with a blazing torch appeared and passed between the pieces. This is the animals that Abraham cut in two, at least most of them, except for the birds, cut in two. On that day, the Lord made a covenant with Abraham, Abram and said, of course, this is the Abrahamic covenant, to your descendants, I give this land from the Wadi of Egypt to the great river, the Euphrates, the land of the Kenites, Kenizzites, Cadmonites, Hittites, Perizzites, Raphites, Amorites, Canaanites, Girgashites, and Jebusites. Uh, also the Mosquito Bites and the Megabites. But what is this? God passes between these animals that were cut in two. And this is what we call a self-maledictory oath. That is, God is calling a curse upon himself if he does not keep this promise to Abraham, this covenant that he's going to provide himself a people and take them into his land. And of course, first you have the picture of this promise being fulfilled in Israel. The Israelites, who are special people of God, but an unbelieving picture of the people of God, and they're taken into a literal promised land, the land of Canaan. But this is all temporary because now he's going to have the real people of God, a spiritual Israel, mostly Gentiles, little bit of Jews, and they are taken into a land that does not end, the new heavens and the new earth. So this is what's going on here. And if, if this is helpful to you, uh, you might want to check out youtube.com, Jeff's Thoughts, and there you can subscribe. But this is the promise of really of salvation to save us, and there's nothing that can stop this plan from being fulfilled. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.